Molding and shaping wood is just like molding and shaping airmen. Every piece of wood's different. Uh, every grain pattern's different. Every person's different. Once you realize that one way ain't gonna cut it for everybody, you, you can start truly affecting people's lives. I am Mass Sergeant Jeremy Wiley, 375th Force Support Squadron, Career Assistance Advisor at Scott Air Force Base. I was raised in Sparta, Illinois. There's about uh, 40 minutes south of Scott. Your option was printing press, farmer, or coal miner. And I wanted to do none of the three. My whole family has been blue collar. And growing up around that, I, I got to quote unquote help. But it was more so, hey Jeremy, sweep this, pick up that. And over the years I got to, uh, to build little things, little ornaments. So it was, it was fun to, to grow up and learn how to do that. Uh, of course there's splinters, there's, there's things that fly around, but man, it is, it's amazing. You start out with just rough, nasty looking wood and you can turn it into tables. I've built uh, entertainment centers, uh, shadow boxes, anything you could possibly imagine. As I joined the Air Force, uh, I got married. I was married for a little over 11 years the first time. That was a rough thing. We lost everything financially. Uh, lost a house, uh, started over from scratch. Uh, I didn't know what rock bottom was till I was digging below it. Starting over at 30 was a huge struggle. Getting remarried again and now we're blending a family. She was uh, going through a relapse, she has MS. And I remember sitting in the garage one night just, man, I'm almost in tears about how are we gonna pay for heat? And just knowing that, hey, it, Everything's gonna get better, don't give up. As long as you put all that resiliency stuff that they talk to you about into play, it, it's real. I mean, it's buzzwords, but it's real. And a lot of that helped with that release, with that time to you know, disconnect from the struggles and build things. Uh, you know, I could take my frustrations out. So it was, it was a, uh, an outlet that I didn't realize I needed. So it started out with my wife's uh, want of a expensive coffee table. And I looked at her and said she was crazy. So she said, it's either that or you build it. So out here in this shop is where I started to, to do that. And it just kind of built from there. People saw it, kind of took off via social media and uh, word of mouth. And I started making things for different people and it's uh, built to bigger than I could ever imagine. Being this close to retirement, man, I have never been more excited. But coming up on the end, some people get very nervous. Of course, there's always a little nerves for change, but it's an excitement more than nerves. I, I can't wait to start my next chapter and find out just how far I can take Wiley Woodworks.